Uh, Rajesh, hope you are doing good and enjoying your life. Welcome back to my channel called Alien Tag Champion. As you can see in my screen, right? So if you are new to this channel, uh, this channel is all about uh, uh, sharing the technical news about Microsoft Endpoint Manager and Apple Android mobile operating system and some other technical knowledge related to the software applications any apple ios or android tips and tricks or anything uh, related to the technicals right <clears throat> so if you already know um, uh, these channels and if you've already subscribed the channels uh, so you also so familiar we have made some some of the interesting video how you can learn this microsoft intune manager and how you can configure this so in uh, today i am going to talk about on this video <coughs> that how you can create the app protection policy for android devices for android buid devices in my past video i have shown you how you can create the app protection policies uh, how you can set up the app protection policies for uh, unmanaged devices for ios devices so in this video i am gonna show you how you can protect that applications on unmanaged android devices okay so this is the Microsoft Endpoint Mortal portal, endpoint.microsoft.com. As soon as you sign in, you landed with this home page. You can click on dashboard. You can customize this desktop um, dashboard as well. Okay. So so from where you have to go. So there are some prerequisites, right? So you have to go through my video and the past video, how you can set up the tenants and how you can set up the MDM authority and Google Play Store, how you can integrate your um, Intune uh, instance with the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. I have uh, explained everything in my um, uh, on, on my uh, last video so you can go through the uh, all those video and so that you will go get to know uh, all this uh, all this about how you can set up so <clears throat> come uh, you have to go to the app protection policies right so where you can find it so as soon as you log into that uh, this uh, Microsoft endpoint portal you have to go to the app sections and you will see the app protection policy here right <clears throat> so app protection is policy you can apply to company owned devices i mean mdm managed devices or mam managed devices so which is unmanaged devices so mam policy can be applied on fully device management or even on unmanaged devices whether i mean we call them unmanaged devices right so this policy will be uh, you can apply on both both the scenarios right so normally um, it is recommended to apply on unmanaged devices unmanaged buid devices uh, and uh, with the full dlp and on mdm managed devices you can apply the less restrictive control based on the the company requirement organization requirement right so here you see uh, this uh, 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 in my pra past video, I have shown you how you can get the app protection policy for iOS devices. In this video, I will show you for Android. So let's get create the policy for Android. So here I have to show, um, say it's global. You can give it any name, whatever you want. Global, ma'am, app protection, ma'am policies for Android. Okay. Android uh, BOID devices, BOID and managed devices, not even traditional. Uh, so, MAM policy. So, and so, MAM policies for BOID unmanaged devices. So, there is two type of unmanaged devices, right? So, there are two type of BOID. You can enroll your devices, BOID personally on devices, um, into Intune, which is called traditional BOID method with work profile and this is unmanaged devices so it, these devices will not get enrolled but we still apply the app protection policy on the supported uh, sdk into an sdk enable app right platform it's already selected android so you don't have to do now here how you can choose and apply these uh, apps on a different devices right so you want to target to all devices type here it's saying right yes no we are not going to assign if you select yes it will get applied to all the managed and unmanaged devices so if you select no then you see there is 
so many options right maybe you confuse so i have in 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 the in before creating the policy we have selected unmanaged so unmanaged devices will not enroll will consider as a personally owned fully buid devices their devices you will not see in the intune console you just uh, as soon as the users will sign into the applications we intune will make sure will protect the data at the applications level right these are the device administrator and android enterprise if you have company owned devices enroll or if you have a byd devices enroll with this any of these method is a traditional uh, mdm method right so uh, i am just uh, creating this policy for unmanaged byd devices just okay, unmanaged select apps you can select all apps and you can see the list of all the applications here if you select all apps this policy will apply to all these applications if you select all all microsoft apps it will only supply uh, apply this policy to the selected application and you can select core microsoft apps so core microsoft apps will this one so i will select few applications why you can select if you want you can select to all those applications so on buid devices normally we will allow, allow outlook okay or maybe team or just outlook as as you, as you want so i'm just selecting outlook application custom apps if you have a intune if you have built if your developer has built any custom um, any 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 uh, applications uh, with intune sdk you will see here uh, and then you will uh, you can add the custom apps as here right so click on next here now you have to uh, restrict the data loss prevention so this group include the data loss prevention control like cut copy paste save as restrictions so everything if you just go if you want to uh, back up the organization data no of course nobody want to um, back up but if you want to allow users to back up the organization data you can select allow send organization data so you will see policy managed apps of course you want to accept some of the application you can select and give the name and uh, the mundane id here uh, <coughs> save organization uh, save copies of organization data no we want to block it of course we want to block it to sharepoint or onedrive we don't want to give um, users to options to save their file data in local storage or somewhere right except these so you can select based on i am selecting onedrive for business right receive data of course they can receive data from any personal apps to here and then restrict copy cut copy base between these so you can either block managed apps or right so i am selecting policy manager let it be default cut copy if you want to define the characters right so screen capture if you want to allow or block i am going to block this approved keyboards you want to select i am not selecting encrypt organization data so here is the trick right so if you select to require encrypt organization data on enrolled devices right so if you you see here if you select require it will enforce encrypting data with the intune app level encryption on all devices if you select not required it will not enforce the organization to app layer on enrolled devices so normally we select encrypt if you select encrypt it will ask users to it will invoke uh, the device uh, uh, you in, it will ask users to set the device passcode if you select not required it will not ask you to then here printing organization you want to block right so any any uh, you want to open any any link with the s you can select s or any apps so i'm selecting s okay click next and then you have to set the pin requirement it's recommended to set the pin requirement to access the data so it's app level pin it's not a device level pin so the pin must be required pin type you can select the passcode or numeric allow simple pin or block minimum pin length you can select 5 6 whatever you want you can select up to 16 right so pin access biometric timeout all these things you can configure it's very simple if you don't know just click on i button and you will see right click on next i'm not spending much time here okay then you can select the app conditions what will happen after five attempts it will reset the pin you can select the conditions as well if it's jail broken jail broken or rooted devices of its block access if it's uh, you want to set the minimum os versions you can 
warm or wipe or block access right value you can give like android 13 has already come so you can give 11 or maybe 12 depend on the or what you want organization want refi device lock device manufacturer so maximum allow these are the actually device manufacturer jail broker right this company portal versions so these are the very um, you can device lock of course password has to be there so that is block access and click next device lock it's low complexity or medium complexity okay select next and then scope let it be default until you unless you want to and then assign to these groups so i want to assign to groups to all android devices so i am selecting mam byd devices all all android users so i'll remove all android users just will select mam byd devices because it's unmanaged right click on next and create that's it very simple and you if you want you can apply the app configuration profile i will show you in the next video how you can create the app configuration profile for outlook to for outlook application or for any other applications so this is the app person policy you can apply this mam app person policy on buid or mdm managed devices right so you see apps on unmanaged devices hope for you have learned how you can create the policies app person policy and apply to the buid unmanaged devices and assigned to all microsoft applications so okay till then thank you have a have a good day bye bye take care thank you